Tim Cantor's paintings and writings have always been subject to personal interpretation. Since his first impressions as a child, the content of his art has never been easy to decipher. In his youth, Tim was entirely blind to how his art was perceived by others. It was not until he was in his early twenties that he began to actually observe how his art was discerned by those other than himself. However, once he did, an entirely new source of inspiration emerged. His art brought out a higher intensity of emotion than he had expected. His images began to find an alluring balance between delight and pain. At times, the viewer may have been overwhelmed with the severity portrayed within the composition. Perhaps they were halted by an immediate notion towards darkness, an assumption that lived within themselves that made them unwilling to seek the optimism of the story Tim Cantor was conjuring. On the contrary, those who found themselves enthralled by his work became ardent and expressive. While Tim became sensitive when one person was driven away by his art, that low spirit was uplifted by the positive outpour of romanticism that his art generated. Death and grief are part of life. Tim Cantor found a way to weave that pain with beauty, drama, comfort and encouragement. His imagery brilliantly harmonised dark and light into sapient explanations of how he translates varied situations. Personal stories are found in almost all of Tim Cantor's art, whether it be simple occurrences that gave him pause to contemplate, sad or pleasant memories, life, love or even death. There is always an eventful experience that everlastingly finds its way into his painted images. The discernment of the public will perpetually wander in unforeseeable directions. Tim has come to realise this now, and as a result, he has disciplined his feelings not to be hurt by the unexpected. Rather, he now finds fresh perspective within the impulsive and ambivalent division of his audience. A literal example of polar opposite views toward a particular Tim Cantor painting can be recounted of the work titled Blind Faith. This small painting depicts a handsomely dressed character bearing a jacket, tie and top hat. His portrait is directed facing forward off the panel from which it was painted. Tim Cantor is noted for his brilliant approach to painting the human eye with such emotion and artistry, deep, watery and reflective. However, in this painting, the man who faces the viewer has no eyes. His lids are sealed shut, feathered dark and blind. Initially, for many who catch this feature, there is a reaction of unease and fear. To a friend of the patron who purchased Blind Faith, that was her exact reaction, so much so that she could barely stand to look at it. Yet the patron himself found great respect in the story that the artist devotedly told. This image is depicting the breadth of a different kind of knowledge that resonates the added senses living within the blind. The human condition is to cower and tremble at disfigurement, or at the very least feel sympathy. Although the patron's friend was daunted by the affliction presented in this portrayal, to the one whose wall bears this painting, there is an illuminating theme that is far from sinister. The extreme contrast in the perception of two friends, one of revulsion and the other of such fondness that he waged to own it, was a story of great motivation for Tim Cantor. Not only did the incident confirm the point that the artist was depicting, but it also generated his theory into reality, creating a physical example of his concept. Tim witnessed firsthand, through an image he had created, an influential psychological unfolding. His painting exposed the pessimist and optimist, the shallow and complex, and possibly unveiled the truth of two souls. In the wake of this understanding, Tim began to release diverse paintings that pushed his insight further. He explored his own thoughts and forged new compositions that continued to divide the human psyche into varied standpoints. An exceptional example can be analysed in a painting that Tim Cantor created thereafter, titled Father Figure. This painting is a definitive symbol of the artist's determination in the study of this realm. Habitually, 
the inclination of Tim's mind is to shroud his emotional perspective beneath enticing and picturesque forms. However, for this painting, that is not the case. Atop a deep sable background, Father Figure is a fierce scene that Tim has essentially split equally in half. On the left side of the panel, he has painted a wicked, frantic, dog-like beast lunging for its prey, the prey being an infant lamb held out of harm's way in the protecting arms of a masculine, Romanesque figure that commands the right half of the image. It is a tough and drastic impression that brandishes an undeniably frightening appearance over the top of a brave and warm-hearted sentiment. Nevertheless, because of its harsh portrayal, Father Figure leaves no neutral ground upon which indifference may be cast. The image badgers either love or hate sternly from the observer. To Tim, this intense confrontation between virtue and vice clearly bisects human nature into two categorical bodies. Some will see the touching story of self-sacrifice and benevolent strength that Tim is telling through his forceful image and writing. Others will arrive at a dreadful conclusion and be thwarted away before the story has its chance to be told. His sight is sporadic, his method is pliable, and the feelings he portrays vary from image to image. Be it convoluted or straightforward, most of all, Tim Cantor's art ticks through the contemplating mind in different ways, waiting for the pieces to fall into place. For each mind, those pieces have a unique order to which they fall. Tim has developed a heightened awareness of this, gathered over decades of bearing his paintings for public scrutiny. He is quite aware that his contradicting manner inevitably hinders some from embracing his work, but for those who distinguish the meaning within, the reward far outweighs the rejection. With this said, Tim Cantor will always be a person of susceptibility, never above hurtful words and shaken feelings. Those emotions are what have made him the artist he has always been, but it is his exceptional grasp on the inner self that has made him the artist he has grown to be.